just me? Or don't we see this all the time? Racial profiling. You know what I mean? It's like with the Starbucks situation with those two brothers. When they had to go through that. You know what I mean? They were violated. Then in this situation with the Yale student. That right there. Was foul. You had this white chick, that's a student, and she calls on the black chick, who was a student as well, who happened to fall asleep. She was working on the paper all night and she just happened to fall asleep. The next thing you know, she's getting sweated by the cops with them questioning her and asking her for her ID and she had to prove that she lived on the floor and all this bull crap. I mean when you think about when people do little things like that like it's almost it makes you think like what the hell are you afraid of? You know what I mean? Now I could see if this sister was like reckless and she was just like, you could just tell she might have been homeless or something like that. And she probably was smelling bad. I could see that being the issue. But she's a fellow student just like you. And it wouldn't shock me if you really knew that she was a student. You know what I mean? When she confronted your ass, you knew she was a student. And for her to be violated like that, to be questioned by the authorities. You know, that can really affect a person when you think about it. Like, I'm here on campus studying, doing what I'm doing to get an education to better myself in life. And I got people calling the cops on me. She was filed for that. The Yale University got a lesson this week in diversity and inclusion after a white student called the police on an African-American student who was sleeping in their dorm. Jerika Duncan has the story. I have every right to call the police. Yale graduate student Lolati Siambola recorded the moment she confronted a white doormate who called the police on her for taking a nap in a common area. Okay, let me open my apartment for you so that you can see that I belong here. Police arrived within five minutes. Can you verify that you're a resident here? Then we'll be on our way. But even after she opens her apartment door, more questions. Do you just have your ID yet? Why? I just explained to you, we have a police call for you. You just said that if you prove that I live here, Correct. you would leave. No. Siambola says that night she had been working on a paper and took a quick nap in the common room. The police questioned her for nearly 20 minutes. We're just trying to get down to the bottom of it? No, you're not. What's the, the bottom of what? The bottom of, of the fact that I was like in the, in the common room doing a paper and sleeping? This comes on the heels of a rash of incidents where police were called on African Americans. Because there's three black people in the neighborhood. Of like this group leaving their Airbnb rental in California. So yeah, we're standing here. We have one, two, three, four police officers here. But what happened is that I almost died because somebody was afraid of me. Denisha Prendergast, granddaughter of Bob Marley, spoke out at a news conference today. The neighbor, what did you want to happen? Do you not understand how you jeopardize our lives because of your fear? Yale's vice president of student life says the school is working to address incidents of racial bias. And she says the officers who responded actually admonished the complaining student, Jeff, that the other student had every right to be present. All right, Tarika, thank you.